today is Friday, March 1st, 2024. I'm at this pilot slash shell station, American Auto Stop. Hey folks, good guy Glenn here. And today I'm at one of my favorite truck stops, Connecticut, right off of Route 95. They sell pilot fuel here, but they're actually a shell station. And I've stayed here five times. My trainer showed me this place. And a lot of people ask me when you're up here because you're gonna go to Montville, Connecticut to go pick up a paper. They say there's no place to stay. Well, this is a great place to stay. And I'm gonna share it with you. Now we're right down the street from Foxwoods. So if you're staying here and you have time go to Foxwoods it's right up the road not far an uber trip away this place is really cool you have a Sabraros a Nathan's the fried chicken in here is great that's what I'm gonna actually have for dinner big place to eat all the restaurants truth be told I already had lunch here before I had Sabaros when I got here. They have a big room for events in the corner. There's people sitting over there, so I'm not gonna interrupt them. And of course they sell all the classic junk that they sell truck stops. That's the room for events. You could even probably have your wedding there. You could probably even do your wedding there. So it is Friday, so it's cheat day. They've got the hats. There's always hats. Marine Corps hat. All your other stuff. You know, basically all your truck stop stuff. Ooh, there's a coffee maker. I need a coffee maker. Perhaps. And you know, punching bag, because you need a punching bag. because you need a punching bag in a truck stop. And for good reason. Now when you go out in the back, this is where the pilot fuel is. Listen. When you come here, 
don't do what this guy's doing. You will get in trouble. Do not park anywhere, but in the truck parking. The cops are usually on standby here. And that leads to the one bad thing about this place. The guy who's the manager here, he's not really cool. <sighs> okay, in all actuality, he's, well, he's just not cool. We'll just leave it at that. Last time I was here, he screamed at me like I was a child. And he called my company to report me. He wanted to report to the company that I stopped here for fuel and that I didn't go park with the rest of the trucks that I parked up. There. So basically made me look good to the company that I wasn't trying to just like hang out at the truck stop all day. I still come here because I love this place so much. I had to rush filming in there because I, quite honestly, I'm afraid of this dude. And I don't want him to see me filming and kick me out and then I can't stay here. My load doesn't pick up until tomorrow at 1300. It's 1300 on Friday. And the place I'm delivering to is closed on the weekend, but I'm cutting through Jersey. So maybe there's an opportunity for me to see my daughter, maybe. And they don't charge you for parking back here. Now that the weather is getting better, this lake that's in the middle of the truck stop is defrosted. This was a sheet of ice for a long time while I was staying here. But I'll be honest with you, I like staying here. It's quiet. I don't think a lot of people know about this. Certainly a lot of people from Western Express don't know about this, but it's here and it's a safe place to stay when you're up in this area. It's right on the border of uh, Rhode Island and Connecticut. So this is where we're gonna stay tonight. And I'm gonna end up having fried chicken here. And it's gonna be a good time. I actually feel blessed to be here. I really love this place. I loved it since the first time I ever came here, my trainer took me here. And I thought it was neat because it's not really a pilot. So it's got its own little flavor to it. It's like a mom and pop truck stop that sells pilot gas. Um, but they have like Sabaros and like, I don't know what the make of the fried chicken is there, but the fried chicken is actually pretty good here. So a lot of people complain that there's no place to park up this way. And there really isn't. Like if you don't know that this is here, there's hardly any place to park. The rest areas up here, maybe you could get five trucks in them. Some of them further down 95 in Connecticut, you could get like maybe a dozen trucks. Very uh, limited space up in this area. But this is a huge, for this area, this is a huge truck stop. For most areas, this is a big truck stop. And nobody knows it's here. And if you pulled in the lot, you wouldn't know this is here because this is in the back and you have to go over this little tiny bridge back here and there's this huge lake in front of everything. But yeah, I'm here. I don't have to pick up till tomorrow. I was going to try to pick up really, really early, but 
I can't deliver this on the weekend. So, I don't know. I still might go pick this up early tomorrow and go see my daughter in Jersey. I could go stop at the Vince Lombardi truck stop, which is not far from where my daughter lives. She could hitch a ride over and we could spend some time together. And that would be really neat. I'm going home to see her soon. I requested home time. I know, you know, <laughs> I don't request home time because I'm out here. Your first year is your worst year. You're not going to make a lot of money. And, you know, so I'm just out here hustling, just trying to make that money. You know what I mean? It's early. It's only 1400 I don't know what to do with myself. I thought about maybe taking an Uber to Walmart. But then again, I've always said, like, I should take an Uber up to Foxwoods and check that out. I keep saying that every time I come here. And this is the day to do it because I have a long stay here. But I probably won't do that. I don't have the money to spend there. What's the point? The Uber won't be cheap. It won't be expensive. It's only a couple miles up the road. This morning when I was unloading uh, at this spot in Massachusetts, this Western driver, he was a young kid. He was pulled right in the center of the loading docks. He was pulled away from his door, but, blo but it's a very small area to make your 90 in, you just missed the guardrail that's in front of you. It's one of them joints where there's no room for error. You're either set up right and you're going to pull into the spot or you're going to whack that guardrail or you're not going to get into the spot. You have to be just right. And this idiot is parked right in the middle. And the people who work there told him to leave and he didn't. So I walked over. And I don't know what he was trying to tell me about how he couldn't move because of his ELD or something. I'm like, I don't really care. They just gave me a door assignment and it's in your the door you're blocking. So he moved and he gave me a dirty look when he passed by. And when I left three hours later, because it took them forever to unload me, live unload, he was uh, still parked in the lot. Uh, and they specifically, there's signs everywhere saying not to take your break, no overnight parking. It's not a big lot. And they have trucks coming in and out. And there he was parked there. It was just the attitude he had. Like he didn't have to move. My dude, you weren't just in the lot. You were parked by the loading docks. Like where everyone is trying to unload. And you're just in the middle. You're not even pulled at the door. You're pulled away from the door, blocking the spots. Just insanity. There's a lot of that here. I guess in trucking in general right now. But I talk to a lot of truckers, you know, on this channel and in person here at the uh, truck stops and... Some of them are very fatalist, but a lot of them have a good outlook. They're like, this happens in cycles. And it'll get better. So I guess we'll see. Now's the time, man. I mean, freight is down. If you can't make it, like, you're not going to make it now. If you're strictly here for money... This will this this will run you right out of here. You know, if you can stick through this through the long haul, then you might be okay when things pick back up. When things pick back up, you're gonna remember the days where you sat at the truck stop and you had time to scratch your own ass. And that won't be a thing. So that's how it is with this load. 
The place I'm delivering to is closed on the weekend, but I'm picking it up tomorrow on a Saturday. You know, the pickup is open, but the drop-off is not. So there's no sense to rush over there and then haul ass into Pennsylvania to deliver it 400 miles away. I could take my time getting to Pennsylvania. I could drive halfway there to Jersey, see my kid, and drive the other half on Sunday or Monday. It drops on Monday. And from what I see on a trip plan, it's not close to anything, like as far as truck stops or anything like that. So it's a wake up in the morning Monday and drive it out type of uh, delivery, I think. So that's that, man. It's early. I'm not going to eat dinner until for another few hours. I'm eating potato chips in the truck. Today's my cheat day. And I'm going to uh, go later and get some fried chicken inside the, the uh, truck stop. So it wasn't the, the best this time. Probably because I didn't have any breasts left. Usually that's what I get when I get chicken. But it wasn't terrible. The rice and beans were all right. Um, like I said, not terrible, not the best. I called. So the situation with the pickup tomorrow, he's not going to let me pick it up early. At least the guy I talked to on the phone. Could I take the risk and go over there at zero four and see if they load me? I could. But then I'm wasting time if they tell me to come back at 12. This is 25 miles from my pickup. I'm not going to come back here, and there are no other spots in New England. New England is very hard to park a truck. So I think because this doesn't deliver until Monday anyway, I'm in no real rush to pick it up. I'll show up at right up, show up early for my appointment time, but not... 04 in the morning when my appointment is at 12.30. Then from there, I have to drive through New York City, which I don't want to do. I was hoping that they would let me go over the Tappan Zee Bridge and then down 17. But I don't think they're going to let me do that. And just going through the beak just going across to cross bronx is just so annoying and tomorrow's the weekend so there'll be weekend idiots out i don't know but from there i'm going to stop at the vince lombardi rest stop and by giant stadium and i'm gonna see my daughter and i'm pretty stoked about that you know, I don't know what it's going to look like over there because I've never... I stopped there to go to the bathroom one time. But that was during the week. And it was morning. The weekend, that truck stop might be packed up. I don't know. I'm going to see when I get there. And, um... Worst case scenario is I get there, it's no bueno, and I go to a Walmart parking lot and we hang out for the day and then I take off with my remaining hours and I go into Pennsylvania and find a proper truck stop and stop or rest area and stop. I may not have a choice, but seeing my kid is a priority and I'll do what I have to to get it done. I tell you, man, it's crazy because this this is a lot of waiting around for this load. I'm going to be here over 24 hours. That's why I came here, because I knew that that was going to be the case. I had a feeling that was going to be the case. I kind of knew that the place in Pennsylvania wasn't going to be opened on the weekend. I looked it up on Google, and it said they're closed on the weekend. And the drop time is on Monday morning, so I just figured. So... I came here. I was at a rest area on 90 coming out of Boston. 
you know, on the Boston uh, Pike, on the Massachusetts Turnpike, Mass Pike. But uh, it's just, you know, I hate those places. This place is quiet. It's uh, it's all right. So I'll just, I'm gonna do a, a live in a couple minutes. I'm gonna go live and yeah, I'll figure something out. If I had more money, if I had paid off, if I had paid off my debt, I would go to Foxwoods. Hell, I might even spend the night at Foxwoods. It's right up the road. I keep saying one day, one day, one day, one day, maybe I'll go over to Foxwoods. But, yeah, today is not that day. But anyway, you know what I always tell you? God's got a plan for you. Do your pre-trip. Pull over if you're tired. No load is worth your life. Come home safe to your family. Your family is everything. S Say your prayers. Take your vitamins. Eat a banana and a yogurt every day. Drink your water. And remember, God's got a plan for you. And he's going to give you what you need. And it might not be what you want. But it'll be what you're supposed to be. Where you're supposed to be. Believe that. If you like this video, smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. So when I drop another video, you get a notification. Once again, this is Good Guy Glenn. Thanks for watching.